Hello Aquarius, welcome to the channel. Hope you're all doing well and thank you for your likes, shares and subscribes. Please remember this is a general reading. It won't resonate with everyone. You can look at your moon and rising signs that might suit you better. And I will take another card here for greater clarity. And we have take a step back. Take a step back. Now sometimes we can take a step back, we can gain clarity here. Uh, it might be something that we don't need to be involved in here either. We don't need to involve ourselves in other people's issues. But we'll have a look and see. The Three of Earth. Now this here is the Three of Pentacles in the traditional tarot deck. The power of creativity, recognition for very high quality work and being a team player. Now this is a collaborative energy where you're working with one or more person to create stability for your future. Now it could be in your career, it could be with your finances, your environments or your relationships. Um, but it's a very powerful card because it means that you've got the skills here to lay solid foundations for the future and to work along with other people and they are recognising your skills here. They're recognising your skills that you're bringing to the table and anything that's built on hard work that creates solid foundations will stand the test of time. So it's a very rewarding card, the Three of, Pente uh, the three of Earth or the Three of Pentacles. Spirit, please show me clearly what this is about. Emperor. Now this is Aries energy. You could be dealing with an Aries or somebody with Aries in their chart. The Four of Swords, that's your step back here and there's your King of Swords. Now it can be here that it's time for you to take a step back and review things. You might want to review things. He's been through challenges here. It could be somebody recovering from illness as well, but he's prepared to sit back now, pamper himself. He's taking that step back to review his situation most definitely. Now, this can be you deciding that the path you're on isn't for you. You might want to take your skills elsewhere. Um, you might want to involve other people in your situation to help you go forward. But he's reviewing things. He's deciding how he wants to go forward. He's doing the brainstorming needed. Um, but he's pampering himself here, taking time out to heal from past challenges. So taking a step backward before you actually decide how you're going to go forward. It gives you, you know, if you ground yourself, you can tune in with your intuition here. Um, listen to your intuition, because this is about powerful creativity as well. It's about your skill set. Um, you've got a good skill here. You've got, you've got the ability to achieve what it is that you want to achieve. Um, but you're, he's thinking here about how he's going to go about it. Now, this is you. This could be you getting advice, gaining knowledge. It could be you going working with someone who's a lot of, who's got a lot of knowledge here. You could be communicating with them. Um, you've decided what it is you want to do, and you're sourcing out the right opportunities here. So you could go to somebody who's established in their field. So any kind of job, somebody that's built a business here. Uh, it could be also a tutor of some sort. Any kind of somebody with knowledge that they could share with you. It's a collaborative energy, remember, about how you're going to, you know, how you're going to start building your stability here. But there's team involvement involved. It's a co-creative energy we're talking about. Now, this here could be legal advice you're seeking, financial advice, professional advice of any kind as well. So that could help you as well with your brainstorming and deciding how you're going to go forward. But this could be you gaining your clarity and speaking up as well. You've got the clarity you need now through listening to your intuition and thinking about how you're going to go forward, basing on your past experiences, you've got a plan for your future here. Now we'll just clarify the Four of Swords energy spirit, please. There's your Three of Pentacles again. Now I feel this is about you deciding here what you're going to invest in, who you're going to invest in, if this is to do with money, it could be financial advice. If it's taking your skills to it, you could be joining a new team, a new industry of some kind. Um, it could be anything to do with your environments. You know, you could be investing in a new home, working with landlords yet, yeah, but your challenging times are over. The Ten of, Pent uh, Ten of Wands, sorry, and the Ace. Yeah, your challenging times are over. What's happening here is you've been through a lot of challenges and a lot of battles, but you've gained a lot of knowledge here. You feel as if you've had the whole weight of the world on your shoulders, but you're ready to take a step, a step back now and review things because you've learned enough now to think, you know, I've got to make decisions here about a certain area of my life. 
I've gained enough knowledge. I've been through enough. I've got this. And I'm ready to make decisions, major decisions here about what I'm going to invest in, who I'm going to invest in, where I want to take my skills, uh, what I want to build for myself. So when we're learning what isn't for us, we're learning what is. These are karmic lessons that you've learned. And it's given you enough knowledge now. You've enough knowledge now to know what you want to do with yourself uh, in relation to a certain area of your life. And it's time for brand new beginnings. So you're taking a step back and you're reviewing your situation because you've learned enough. You know what you want to do with yourself now. You know what you want to invest in um, and uh, how you're going to go about it. You're taking your skills that you've, you've, you've got now. You've got a good skill set. These, these are the karmic lessons have served you well. We'll clarify this King of Swords then. Your karmic lessons have paid off. There we go. Aces. You've got the clarity you need. The Queen of Pentacles. Beautiful long-term investment. The Five of Pentacles. Now, what's happened here is there's been times where you feel disappointed and left out in the cold. Um, you could even feel abandoned by something or somebody or let down here. But you've prepared here now. You can see. You've done your reviewing, you've listened to your intuition, and you're prepared to take up brand new opportunities where you feel you're going to be more valued. You can see it clearly now. Um, so you're letting your disappointments go, definitely. Um, you're focusing on the present and how you're going to go forward. Uh, and you're ready for brand new opportunities here for happiness. Brand new opportunities for happiness. You're going to be a lot happier now once you've made these decisions and you can see your path. Happiness in every area of your life. It's going to enable you to whatever situation that you're investing in here, the hard work that you're putting in, the skills you're bringing to the table, the focus that you're showing, is going to enable you to make long-term commitments. And I did say, if you put your hard work in, things stand the test of time. You're going to remain focused, you're going to work hard, and you're going to create a lot of home comforts for yourself in the future here. Now, this can be new opportunities coming in as well. There could be a new opportunity for love coming in. You could be working with another person here. It could be challenges in that area of your life's over. So this here is a Virgo, Taurus or Capricorn energy you could be working together with to create a home life. Now, that's not for everybody. I'm just giving you an example. This could be a work colleague. This could be a good boss. This could be a good team leader. You know, it could be a good tutor. It depends. But the important thing about this is you're prepared here to take control of your life. You're prepared to get the right advice and you're prepared to work with people to lay the solid foundations so that things stand the test of time and you can have security for yourself. There's a lot of security. There could be marriage for some of you. There could be security and success for you alone or your family or your soul tribe. And there's your success card. You're going to create beautiful things here. So this is a turning point for you. You're at a turning point in life, most definitely. But this is a success card. Sixes are always success. And when you go forward and you're successful, you'll only create more success in your life. And you're being respected. And you're being respected for what you're doing, the hard work you're putting in, the skills that you're bringing, the efforts you're putting in. A lot of success coming in from that. Here we are. Divine mystery. Divine mystery. You, along with the sun, earth, moon and the stars, are part of one creation, a divine mystery unfolding at each moment. Be present and feel the power of now. Be in the moment and witness the wonders of it all. And this is what I'm saying. Be in the present. Focus on what you have and how to build it, not your past disappointments. OK, I hope this helps. Please like, share and subscribe and I'll see you again soon. Bye bye.